It's a fascinating day's play, very long day's play, finishing at six minutes to eight, and at the end of it, still don't know who's going to win. Yeah, the, it has been a fascinating game. It stepped and flowed. Um, I thought they put a fantastic partnership together and put us, put us under massive pressure behind and batted really well, and we thought we could have had him at stages of the game. Um, he had a bit of fortune and stuff like that, but we stuck in there. We got a few wickets at the end, which makes it an interesting day going into tomorrow. Doesn't it just... Um, so many talking points from the day. Let, let's wind it back a little bit. 75 for seven at lunch. We knew it was going to be hard batting on, on that pitch in those conditions. And then that partnership between Ryan Rickleton and Simon Kerrigan that brought the match back to life. Yeah, I mean, we probably didn't have the, the best of the conditions, to be fair. There was a bit of drizzle around and the pitch nipped around and made it hard work. And it, it was a bit more zip from, from the rain that we had. Uh, but credit to Ryan and credit to Sam and the way they went about the business. It was fantastic and got us into a good position. And we came off sort of pretty happy with the position we were in and the runs we had on the board. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting old day. And if there's one thing we always know about Simon Kerrigan, he loves a scrap, especially against his, uh, his old county. He does. He's certainly up for the fight. Uh, all the lads are up for the fight. We know that Lancashire are a big team. They, they come and try and impose themselves on teams. So we're up for it. We're going we're gonna to scrap. We're going to fight as hard as we can and hopefully get over the line tomorrow. What about Ryan Rickleton? Um, it's always a slightly difficult situation to find yourself in when you're a specialist batsman at six. You've got to shepherd the tail. Simon Kerrigan made that a bit easier for him, but he, he played so well again today. Well, he showed his class. He's been brilliant since coming to us. He's, you know, it, it speaks volumes of the runs that he's got since he's been here. He, he's settled into the changing room really well. He speaks good cricket. Um, the way he goes about his training and everything is fantastic. So he's been great to have. Um, we've been fortunate this year and the overseas that we have had come in. They've been brilliant and offered a lot to the, to the team. So, yeah, it's, it's great to have Ryan. So 278 to win, a couple of early wickets, and then, as you say, that partnership between Croft and Bohannon. Things just look to be, certainly for the commentary box, going a wee bit flat, which can happen in that, in that sort of circumstance. Needed something to happen. Thankfully, from Northampton's point of view, it did. It did. Ben Sanson put in a terrific spell there for us and, and has got us into a, a good position. Um, I don't think it's an easy wicket to start on. So, you know, new batsmen coming in, we've got to make sure we're, we're on them and not giving any sort of freebies, which we've, we've been like for most of the game. So, um, certainly going to be an interesting first half hour tomorrow. Um, we've got to be at our best and then see where that takes us. To what extent does Josh Bohannon hold the key now? You feel that if, he's, if he bats through, Lancashire win, if Northampton could nip him out early. Could be a different story. Oh, definitely, you know, he's on he's on ninety two, but you know, he's got to start fresh again tomorrow. So um, hopefully that comes into our in, into our hands. If we can get him early, then that, yeah, it puts us in a great position.